Oh, hi everybody, welcome back to today's video. Now, I'm going to show you how to create the famous texture that Devon uses on his artwork. If you don't know Devon, check him out on social media such as Instagram or even on Pinterest. But this is how it looks like, okay? Let me show you the original artwork that I created. You can see this one has nothing, it's just purely um, the work that is done. But when you're done with it, it looks something like this. You can see it has some crunchy there, it has some um, greens in there, it has some half tone and then many texturizers as well to make it more richer and then a little bit more realistic as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create this. Alright, uh, I'm going to show you how to create this or in, uh, in a bit. Alright, so without further delay, let me show you how to start. Now, this is the original artwork that I just created. I just brought it into, um, you know, my my canvas i'm going to close this one and then i'm also going to close this one now guys i also want you to subscribe to this channel and then click on the bell icon more videos are going to come up i don't want you to miss out i don't want to miss out on any of them the first thing we, we are going to do is to make sure we duplicate this okay so assuming you are done with your work okay i'm going to um, convert it to a smart object all right so i can delete this one once i'm done with my work i convert it to a smart object and then i call the first one c raw you understand me that's how i call the first one because i want to add a little bit more camera raw to it i'm going to filter then i'm going to camera raw filter and i'm basically going to add just um one or two things over there that is basically it image itself looks crispy we can do that by looking at the hair of the person uh, but i'll be making other videos i'm going to show you how i even created this particular flyers so you guys don't need to worry about that and then there's only one thing that i want to do over here you can see the hair already looks crispy I did that on purpose okay so um the only thing i want to do here is i'm going to go to detail and i want to boost the sharp to around maybe one point something all right now you can you can already see the difference it's really needed let's see you can see it brings in much more details as well that is good uh, i'm going to create this layer i'm going to put it in the background okay i'll click over here Control alt shift and then e okay i just want this one to show over here okay so um i'm going to call this one texture Okay, so this is a camera roll, this is a texture. I need to click here and I'm going to pick the gray side over here. Okay, then I'll click on the foreground or swirl or background. <laughs> I'm going to click on yellow here and I'm going to pick this side of it. It's really important, okay? And then once you are done, you can go to filter and then you go to filter gallery and then we can start. I'll click click on any of them and then come and then come and pick green. Nice. And then green, I'm going to set the intensity to 23, and then I'll set the contrast to 34. All right, that is it. Now I'll come to this side and I'll create a new effect again. Okay, this time I'll click over here and I'll go and look for reticulation. Reticulation, I want the density to be 12, and then I want the background or sorry, the foreground to be 6, just a little. And then I want the background to be 16. Great. And then I'll come back and then look for another one again. Let's create a new layer effect. And this time I'm going to look for half tone. Okay, so let's go up a little bit. Half tone pattern. Nice. Now half tone pattern, the size, I'm going to set a size to 3. You can also set a size to 4 if you want to. The contrast, I'm going to set it to 14. Okay great and then i'm going to set here to dot um that looks good that is good okay let's create another one again and then this time i'm going to set it to film grain now you can see that the effect will start to um show okay let's look for film grain i can see started showing i'm going to set the green to eight nice and then i'm going to send the highlight to 13 between 13 to 15 okay the intensity i'm going to set it to three nice then i'll create the last one okay and i'll go there and i'm going to choose texturizer texturizer i'm going to set the scaling all the way to 200 great and then the relief i'm going to set it to five also the light here you want to click on it and choose top it's really important and then i'm going to click on okay so now this is what we are going to have i want to put this in a group then i'll call it fx nice okay over here on the texturizer or on the texture that we created over here you also want to go to the blending modes and set it to soft light nice 
okay now you can see the effect in there you can see the effect in there but we want it to be realistic remember you can also go back there again because it's a uh what's it called a smart object you could go back and then still click on it more and then click on okay it is allowed the next thing is i want to add some particles to it so i'll go here this texture i'm going to drag it to it and then i'll just move it up here like that good then i'll duplicate it and i'll bring it down here as well select both of them and then i'll just drag them there like that i'll go to this side and i'll set it to screen i find that the screen is really nice so uh, now you can see that there is a sh line over there that doesn't blend it well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a mask, and then let me see. I'll pick my brush, pick my soft round brush. Good, and then make sure my caps lock is off. Increase it, and then just click over here. Guys, set the side to color black. Okay, click over here, and then click over there. Nice. Do the same thing to this as well sorry create a mask and then um, select the mask click over here and then click over here as well now you could push you could push them to blend them nicely together okay so that is it that is it with the i'll put them in a group and i'll call them um let's just see the um, particles all right okay and then one last thing to make it also more realistic is the exposure exposure you don't want the blacks to be too visible okay and so if the blacks are if, the, if it's too dark the contrast doesn't look real so you want all the darks to be a little bit gray okay so i could set here to 200 okay and just like that the whole work looks different in fact i could even go back there and set it to um, 150 i mean guys play with it play with it until you are comfortable with what you have okay uh, so i could even maybe reduce the opacity to around 50 percent and that is it guys and so that is how you create something like this okay now let's zoom in let's see the details you can see we have some particles here and then the half tone and then the gritty nature of it and everything guys this 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 is epic guys this is epic this is a masterpiece all right so um i'm going to leave the file in the description for you as well for you to download and also remember more videos are going to come up i want you to subscribe to this channel and i want you to hit the bell icon and also comment under this video if this video was helpful see you in the next one peace out